Hi, my name is Deja, and for today I will be showing you how to correctly apply a dressing to a patient. So this is my patient here. Um, the procedure that they um, got done was a laparoscopy to view their kidney to make sure that they are functioning properly and to make sure that there are no antiviruses that I have for today. Here I have my gauze sponge, which is four by four inches. And then here is my, um, my film dressing that I will be using. And then here I have my self-adhering wraps. <laughs> now before I apply the dressing, um, you do have to clean it. So the way that I would clean this, I would use a surgical sponge to wipe away any blood or fluid that would be around the incision. And then I would go in with an alcohol swab to clean and disinfect the area before addressing this surgical dressing. After the area is clean and prepped, I would start off by using the gauze sponge, which is four by four inches. This is commonly used um, post-operatively, and it is used to protect and absorb fluids from the wound. So I would go ahead and place that first. After applying my gauze sponge, I will go ahead and take my film dressing and apply it next. Film dressings are waterproof, which makes it great for dressing an incision site. And it's also non-adherent, so it won't stick to the wound and cause further pain to the patient. So I would place that on top. And this is great because the clear view allows you to see the dressing and make sure that it's properly in place. Now that the gauze sponge and the film dressing are placed on the wound, I will then take my self-adhering wraps and wrap it around the dressings. Self-adhering wraps are great because they, um, they're, used to, they're used to secure the dressings and then they're, they also adhere to the wrap itself instead of the skin. So that way you don't have to worry about it sticking to the patient's skin and possibly causing them injury while removing the dressings or the wrap. And that's how you would perform a dressing.